Hello, in today's class, the chapter that we are learning is printer. We will learn about the definition of printer, the types of printer, and how these different printers are categorized into impact and non impact printers. Printer A printer is an electromechanical device which converts the text and graphical documents from electronic form to the physical form. So, ultimately, it converts a soft copy into a hard copy. It's an external peripheral device which is connected through a cable or it's a wireless. And it requires special drivers to be installed in your computer to use this printer. The quality of printer is defined by the color quality, the speed of printing and the resolution. The types of printer. As you can see on screen, there are so many types of printer which includes daisy wheel, dot matrix, line, drum, chain and band, inkjet, laser, plotters, photo, printer, die sublimation, portable, thermal and multifunction printers. And these all printers are classified into impact and non-impact printer. So let's see what is impact and non-impact. A printer in which a key strikes the paper to make a letter is called the impact printer or otherwise it does not function this way then it is called the non-impact printer. It's very easy to remember, right? In a printer where a key strikes to the paper with the help of hammer that is called the impact printer or otherwise it's a non-impact printer. There are daisy wheel and dot matrix printers which are impact printers and the inkjet printers and laser printers are the non-impact printers. The classification. Yeah. The daisy wheel printers, dot matrix printers, line printers, drum printers and chain band printers are the impact printers in which drum printers and chain band printers are line printers as well as impact printers. Non-impact printer includes inkjet printers and laser printers and there are some other printers which has a combination of technology of impact printers and non-impact printers or some other different technology that is plotters, photo printers, dye sublimation printers, portable printers, thermal printers and multifunction printers. The thermal printer is a, is a type of portable printer. First of all, the daisy wheel printer. This daisy wheel printer's printing technology is pretty similar to that old that, that typewriter. You know the ball head typewriter. Yeah, it is called the daisy wheel printer because the wheel it looked like a daisy flower, right? And on the each flower petal, I mean, <laughs> on this each petal of this wheel, there. On the far end, there is a character embossed. It can be an alphabet, a numeric, or some symbols or some signs. So, a hammer strikes a petal containing a character against the ribbon, ribbon, and the character prints on the paper. So, these characters which are embossed on the very far end of this petal are striped against the paper to print a character. The speed of this diesel printers is about 10 to 75 characters per second. They produce, uh, you know, quite a better quality, I mean, quite better quality prints, but they cannot print the graphics. That's a disadvantage. And there are, you know, inkjet printers and laser printers that are quite affordable. And there is dot matrix printer too, which has better quality than the Daisyville printers. So, these Daisyville printers have become obsolete nowadays. The next is the dot matrix printers. As the name suggests, it forms the character by printing a dot. It's the character printer as it prints one character at a time. It is of low cost and it is used to print shipping invoices as they are in bulk. No. Uh, it, uh, the stripping invoices does not need a very high quality but they need to be produced at a very high speed so this dot matrix printers are used in such businesses. It creates character by striking a print head. Yeah, the print head is the heart of this dot matrix printer as you can see in picture and it contains 9 to 24 pins. So this print head pins are striped 
again an increment and at each pin and each pin makes a dot and the combination of dots form the character and the graphics so we can say that a 24 pin dot matrix printer produces better quality print rather than the 9 pin dot matrix printer This dot matrix printer contains many special characters and of different sizes of print and they also have ability to print graphics such as charts and graphs which were not possible in the visual printer. Even the slowest of dot matrix printers speed ranges from 30 to 600 characters per second. The next is the line printers. This digital printers and the dot matrix printers were character at a time printer as they were printing one character at a time but we needed a faster one, a faster printer so there is line printer which prints one line at a time that's why they are called line at a time printers. They use special mechanism which contains a chain of characters or pins that print an entire line at one time. They are very fast but they produce low quality print. You know these line printers are even faster than the laser printer and inkjet printers. So where the quality does not matter but the bulk order matters that these line printers are the best alternative to use. The types of line printers are drum printers, chain printers and the band printers. Drum printers. These drum printers are line printers as well as an impact printers. They have a set of hammers mounted in front of a drum in a manner that an ink ribbon and paper can be placed between the hammer and the drum. Then the drum rotates at a high speed rapidly and a character is printed at a desired print position. The speed of this drum printer ranges from 300 to 2000 lines per minute. They produce lots of noise, that's why a cover is used to cover the noise or to reduce the noise. And that's why they are called the drum printers, as the drum also produces noise, right? Now, the chain band printer. Yeah. These chain printers and band printers are different, but the mechanism of these printers is same, actually similar. Uh, in chain printers, a chain is the main component, in, and in band printers, band is the main component. And a small difference between them is band printer uses a small number of hammers than the chain printer. That's the only difference. Otherwise, the mechanism is similar. Yeah, in this chain of band printer, a standard character set may have 48, 64, and 96 characters, and these characters are embossed several several times on this chain and band, and it creates a character set. And uh, unlike the drum printer, in this chain of band printer, the characters, I mean the chain of band, can be changed easily. And it also allows printing to be done in a different forms and styles in the same printer, which was not possible in dot matrix or the line, I mean dot matrix or the easy printer. As it's an impact printer, it also produces noise and so the cover is used to cover the noise. The printing speed ranges from 400 to 3000 lines per minute. The inkjet printers. As the name suggests, inkjet, here yeah, the ink is used. The ink is sprayed on the paper from a nozzle or jet that can be heated up selectively. So the ink comes out of nozzle in, in form of papers. So when the ink comes out of nozzle, it's in form of papers and then it is adhesive against the paper. So we can get the desired letter shape at the desired place. It's also a character printer but it produces high quality output rather than the dot matrix printer because they produce characters with very tiny ink dots. 
So obviously the resolution is is got to be high. The printing speed is about forty to three hundred characters per second. These inkjet printers are quite more expensive than the dot matrix as it produces high quality and it uses high technology. It's very popular because it's less expensive than the laser printers and it can print faster and accurate than the dot matrix and the other printers. Laser printers. The laser printer uses altogether different technology than the other kind of printers that we have seen earlier. It uses the electrophotographic technology, the same technology as the photocopier machines. The laser printer does not print a line at a time or a character at a time, but they print one page at a time. That's why they are called the page printers. Laser printing is an electrostatic digital printing process that rapidly produces high quality text and graphic. By passing a laser beam over a charged drum, it defines a differently charged image. The drum then selectively collects charged toner. Toner is a fine ink powder and which is a key component of the laser printer. That toner and transfers the image to the paper which is then heated to permanently fix the image. The laser printer employs xerographic zero, printing process. Here, the toner, which is a fine ink powder that is adhesive to the paper, it produces high quality output as they form characters by very tiny ink particles. And the resolution is of 1200 dpi. And they give the excellent graphic art quality. They are faster than the other printers, but still, line printers are faster. But compared to the quality and the other things, laser printers are best and faster. Even the lower speed laser printer can print 4 to 12 pages per minute. Obviously, these laser printers are expensive as they use the high technology, and these printers are very popular because of its fast printing. And nowadays, laser printing is not that you know expensive. You can afford it. Plotters. These plotters are quite uh, widely used in engineering and architecture forms for technical drawings or architectural blueprints, as they are of very quite large big sizes. And these plotters are specially designed to print such images, graphics, and prints. These large scale printers are very accurate at these line drawings. There are basically two types of plotters that is, flatbed plotters and drum plotters. These flatbed plotters are pen based plotter as a special purpose pen is used to draw the continuous line and that is how a technical drawing of high resolution is achievable with this dot matrix technology. And in this, a paper is just a stationary but the printer moves the pen across the paper to draw the image. These printers are capable of producing quite sizable drawings as we have talked earlier. Like they can produce the blueprints or the technical engineering drawings. There is drum printer, drum plotters. They are also called upright plotters as they are vertically positioned and they have a drum on which paper rolls on. They usually make more noise and are more compact than the flatbed plotters as it is quite visible in the picture. The photo printer. The name itself shows how for which it works. These inkjet printers and the color printers, they are specially designed to print a lab quality size and lab quality pictures on the photo papers. They are also used to print the documents, but especially to print the photographs. The next is the dye sublimation printers. Yeah. In color it is applied in a continuous tone rather than dots like an inkjet and one color is laid over the whole of one sheet at a time, starting with yellow and ending with the black. 
As you can see in picture, it produces a very high quality pictures and graphics and they are used in graphic arts and photographic applications. They work by heating the ink so that it turns from a solid into a gas and a special expensive paper are used in this kind of printers so that it diffuses into paper surface mixing to the create precise color sheets. And that's why we get the best color resolution in these dye sublimation printers. They are intended primarily for high color applications including color photography and they are well suited for the text. The next is the portable printers. Portable printers, you can carry them with yourself when you are traveling. So that's why they are called the portable printers. They are very lightweight. Printers which uses the inkjet or thermal printers technology. They produces the basic uh, print resolutions uh, suitable for plain text printing, but it does not produce very high quality graphics. Uh, they are battery operated, that's why uh, they are called the portable printers. You know, there are two types of portable printers that is thermal printer, thermal transfer printer, and inkjet printer. The main advantage of this portable printer or the thermal printer is that they are very small, very compact and they require a special type of paper, these thermal printers. The thermal printers. They are very inexpensive and an interest printer that works by pushing heating paint against the heat sensitive paper. The name says it's an inexpensive and the inkless printer, inkless in which ink is not used. But uh, as you can see in picture, the size of this thermal printers does not allow it to fit a cartridge in it, right? That's why they have to use the inkless technology, that is zinc technology, zero ink technology, in which they work by pushing heated pins. Medium pens are pushed against the heat sensitive paper. So it actually prints a character in the black ink. So wherever you see the black characters, there uh, his heated pens are pushed. That's why they are black. And that is how we can see the printed characters. They are used in cash registers, ADM, petrol pumps, calculators, and fax machines. And uh, this thermal printers can be, uh, can do the color printing too with the special papers and the different temperatures and heating rates for different colors. And of course, they use the same technology that is zero ink technology. Now, the last is the multifunction printers. Whenever you are going to a shop to do the printing or scanning. Where you can see this kind of machine that is a combination of a photocopier machine, a scanner, a printer, and a fax machine. So, and it uses inkjet or the laser printing technology. So, that's why it is called the multifunction printers, as so many functions can be achieved with the help of this only one machine. So, I guess that's it for the types of printers. Thank you.